All right, traders, we have some very important trading setups coming up here. I am going to prepare you to trade the best setups at the best prices. I'm going to show you the strategies that we're using. I'm going to show you where to set your price alert, and I'm going to share with you the trading plan for these upcoming setups. We got some new phenomenal opportunities coming up. We're going to be discussing Tesla, Tilray, The Spy, Roblox, PayPal, NVIDIA, MULN, HD, Ford, EIGR, DraftKings, CLVS, Triple BY, AMD, AMC, and Apple. We have a lot to go over, guys. I'm telling you, these are some A1 setups. So make sure you set your price alerts on the ones that interest you. And this is going to be a phenomenal video lesson. So make sure you smash that like button. There's going to be some phenomenal money making opportunities within this video. So make sure you stay till the end and make sure you're subscribed to this channel to stay up to date on the updated price action analysis for the market and for the stocks that we're trading, the best setups at the best prices using this unique gap trading strategy. So let's get right into the video. So first things first, in terms of the in terms of the spy. If you watched the video that I posted a few days ago, I was discussing how spy looked bullish on the overall micro on the overall micro daily chart um, due to this candlestick. You know, if you watched my videos a couple back, I'd explain to you guys that this is a very bullish candlestick at key support. And the one that I decided to buy calls on instead of the SPY was the swing trade on triple BY. It did end up working out as this did have a nice morning spike to 2384. The call options that I bought were up over 30% at one point. I sold them way too soon before that for a little 5% return in the morning. Um, but if I would have held a little bit longer, it could have been a nice 30% win, but it still worked out. But as you can see, it did not hold up like the SPY. So in terms of the SPY, how are we looking right here? SPY is looking very, very micro bullish within some time overall for this week i do believe we are going to continue to trend higher we could see some short-term micro pullbacks possibly even tomorrow but from an overall point of view on where we're heading throughout the entire week it does look like we are going to be seeing an uptrend and it does look like you know, as long as we can maintain and break out above this 457.70 level, once that breaks out and happens, we're really going to be on track for the SPY to hit 462. And once it goes above 462, that's when we fill this gap at 464.72. So in terms of how does the chart look, the chart looks overall micro bullish. We could see some little micro pullbacks. I did want to point out there is a dark blue here triggered on the SPY, which is bearish in terms of the squeeze indicator. But from an overall point of view right now, things are looking very, very micro bullish. Um, the new key resistance level is going to be this 457.88. I'm overall micro bullish for the rest of the week. The chart says it all. It looks like we're going to be pushing back up within some time, give it a couple days, to I would say about 461, 462 on the SPY it's for it to do that. It needs to break out and turn 457.50 into support. If it can't do that, then it's going to be on track to head back down to 453, which is going to be that make it or break it support level for this by 453 if it cracks 453 then it's going to see a nice pullback um if it cracks 452 then it sees a nice pullback to 450 50. so that's kind of the price action for the both ways on it but overall it does look bullish now let's get into the best setups so tesla had a huge day today so in terms of tesla this is phenomenal this is what we want just look at this candlestick right here. You see you see this candlestick right here towards the same price. You see this candlestick towards the same price. Notice how when it forms that candlestick, the top is near and it collapses. Here's the deal, guys. This is the best setup. We have a gap to fill below at 10, 10, 64. Tesla is currently showing signs that we're going to be on track to fill this gap first before filling this one right here. So the strategy is going to be a gap close reversal, which is going to be the same strategy we're going to use on a bunch of other stocks. I'm going to prepare you for you in this video, but this is the number one setup. And this one, I'm going to be hitting this one with some size. It's such a rare opportunity to play a gap close reversal towards the all time highs. So just the rarity of the setup deserves such a um, you know, it deserves a bigger, a bigger position size than normally because the risk to return ratio is going to be absolutely phenomenal on this trade. So we have a gap to fill at $1,222.09. Once Tesla can show signs of a resistance level and it starts to pull back and it starts to break down from this key gap, the level set your price alerts towards there, it's going to be a put option opportunity to day trade in terms of to swing trade. Swing trading is not determined until the last five minutes into the close. 
So if we can get a red bearish candlestick towards this 1200 hour level, then there's going to be a swing trade opportunity. But as of now, it is just going to be a day trading opportunity. So we're waiting for this gap to fill. We're waiting for the bearish confirmations to come in. Once it breaks down and reacts as a resistance level, that's when we buy the puts and ride this back down towards like, um, you know, 1100. Or maybe even if we're going to swing trade it, we have to see if we get the swing trade confirmation to um, 10, 10, 64. So for those of you who want to buy Tesla, don't go chasing the gap fill right here. Just wait for this gap to fill below. There's a gap to fill below at 10, 10, 64. That's where I'm buying Tesla calls. So I'm buying Tesla calls here and I'm buying Tesla puts here. Very, very simple strategy. And I'm using confirmations. If I get the reaction I want, if I get the confirmations that I use, then I'll take the trade. If I don't get the reaction, if I don't get the confirmations I'm looking for, then I'm not going to be taking the trade on any of these gap close reversal strategies on any of these key price levels. So this is going to be a number one A1 phenomenal setup. It wasn't too long ago back in November where I bought Tesla put options towards the top on this day and made a quick 200% return. They went up 400% plus the same day. So um, yeah, that's Tesla. That's the number one setup that I'm seeing right now. Tillery. Tillery formed a bullish doji, nearly filling this gap. There was a gap to fill at 697. It formed the bullish doji stick. We have a lot of positive news coming out you know, with the cannabis sector. With that being said, keep an eye on Tillery. It is due for a pushback up. It is due for a spike. If we can break above this uh, key support, if we can break above 750, it's going to be a buy. If not, then the buying opportunity for Tillery is going to be at 697. It looks like we're going to see a micro push up. See how it forms this doji towards support. We get a micro push up. I think we're going to see a very similar move where we get a micro push up. It's a very bullish candlestick. It nearly bottomed at the gap close reversal. So it partially filled that gap, had a reversal, that key level I gave you guys. And now it's forming a dragonfly doji, which is a very bullish trend reversal candlestick. So it's due for a breakout to about $8 a share. Very bullish on the micro for uh, Tillery. In terms of Roblox, Roblox is now towards the higher end of the channel. We're not going to chase it. What we're going to do is we're going to buy the dip. Wait for Roblox to go back to $46.02. Once we go back to $46.02 and we get bullish confirmations, we're going to look to buy the dip on Roblox and ride this back up a little bit. There's a gap to fill at $46.02. That is going to be your new key dip buying opportunity level for some very nice upside potential on the call options. Keep an eye and wait for that price alert to trigger. Again, make sure you are setting these price alerts at the best prices, right? Otherwise, you're going to fail to plan. And, you know, if you if you don't plan within trading, you're just you're not going to see the results. You're not going to see the success. You're just going to be trading within thin air just at any prices. So just really make sure that you are setting these price alerts at the best prices. And these trades will just come to you within time every single day. I'm setting, you know, dozens of price alerts. Typically, that's what it averages out to be. And then almost every single day, one of those price alerts triggers, which means an opportunity presents itself. If we get the confirmation, the reaction that we're looking for, we're going to do the same thing for pay. PayPal. PayPal is looking very, very bullish. Um, we're going to wait for it to go back down to $116.67. There's a gap to fill at $116.67. So we're identifying these you know, bullish movements. The market is currently um, macro bullish right now. It's also micro bullish for the moment. And you know, we're waiting for these stocks to hit their key support levels to buy the dip for the gap close reversal level. You can see right here, PayPal had a gap to fill right here. It filled the gap, it exploded back up. Well, now there's a new gap to fill at 416.67. So we're waiting for PayPal to go back to that key gap fill level to play it as a gap close reversal strategy. Same strategy that we've discussed with Tesla, with Roblox, um, even Tillery. So NVIDIA, NVIDIA is gonna be a put option opportunity. With this one, we're waiting for it to hit um, $286.56. Once we can fill that gap at 286.56 and we form resistance, that's going to be the key price level to buy on the video put options. So remember, these are quick scalping opportunities. You get in, you get out, you take what the market gives you, you get, you get your quick, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50% return, lock in the gains, rinse and repeat. So for NVIDIA, in terms of buying the dip, look to buy the dip at 256.34. In terms of buying the puts, look to buy the puts at 286.56. Those are going to be your key levels. So we're trading, you know, the higher end and the lower end of these channels. 
as long as the gaps are there and it correlates with the strategy it could be a five-day channel it could be a monthly channel it could be a yearly channel it could be a three-month channel right so um muln muln is starting to show signs of weakness it really is it's forming lower highs it's been failing to break out it's been failing for now multiple days to turn that three dollar level into a support level with multiple fake outs so um i'm going to be very blunt about this the way this is looking right now 287 is make it or break it if it cracks 287 reacts as a resistance level muln is going to take a micro hit it's going to drop to about 230 within some time back to the 230s now if it can stay above 287 it just needs to break above this three and turn it into support if it can do that overall direction will be on track for a push back up to about three dollars and um 45 cents to three dollars and 55 cents so 287 is your make it or break it support level if it cracks it's going to get wrecked within a few days to 230s in my opinion um three dollars is your make it or break it um you know breakout level if it can break out and turn into support we're looking at a push to about 345 to 350s on muln how does the chart look right now it looks very, very bearish in my opinion. It looks like we're going to see something similar to this, something similar to this. Overall, it looks bearish, but it is still holding this uh, key level. And by the way, this is a great stock to be um, trading in the pre-market. You can scalp this stock multiple times in the pre-market for a quick like 2, 4, 5% return very quickly in and out. Um, if you're using Webull, you can trade in the pre-market as soon as it opens at 4 a.m., and you will get like instantly filled on these as long as there's like a thin spread. Um, so this is also a good stock to consider like buying and scalping in the pre-market for a morning spike. Because if you study its moves in the pre-market, it does like to rip. So that's another thing for quick micro scalping opportunities. Um, our next stock is going to be HD. Shout out to Bobby for alerting this within Trader Society. Just so you guys know, a lot of these stocks come from the chat room within Trader Society, along with the scanners that um, are in the video lesson library. So, um, yeah, big shout out to everyone within Trader Society who are, you know, showing people the best setups and pointing people in the right direction. So the deal with uh, HD is, you know, you got 52 week lows at 298.40. It just bought them at a nice keyhole round number at $300. It's already pumping back up with the SPY. You have a gap to fill below, which one is, which is one of the lowest gaps to fill below at 302.61. As you could see, it filled the gap. It had a nice reversal. It filled the gap again, having a nice reversal. We have a gap to fill above here at 308.50, which is where I see it heading for the micro. We have another gap to fill here at $317.00 so how does this look overall this is how things are looking overall very very bullish within some time we're going to trend up like this you know so what are we going to do in the meantime meantime some micro pullbacks some chop some sideways just like with the spy but overall direction for the week should be an uptrend um like i said for the time being for like tuesday and wednesday we could see some micro chops some green to red moves some consolidation some sideways movement but the overall picture by friday is going to be a nice uptrend very bullish on hd i could see it heading to 308 dollars 50 that's my current target for the stock if it can break out and turn into support we're looking at a nice run to about 315. if it fails to break out above this level it's going to see a micro pullback the next leg up um, it's already on track for the next leg up with some time, and that would be to 308.50. So in order to get the next leg up from there, it needs to turn 308.50 into a support level. Once it can do that, once it turns this key support into support again instead of resistance, once it can do that, um, it's going to be heading back up to fill this gap at $317 overall price direction, 315 to 317. Ford. Ford is looking uh, very bullish. Keep an eye on Ford. We had a gap to fill below right here at $16.67. As you can see, it's been bottoming ever since it filled the gap. Look at the bottom wicks, look at the bottom wicks, look at the bottom wicks, very close to that key 16.67 level. So it's gonna be a phenomenal setup. When Ford breaks above 16.67, which will most likely happen tomorrow because it's been bottoming, forming these uh, wicks towards the key support level, you got a very bullish trend reversal um, Dragonfly Doji exactly at the gap bell level, which is very bullish. So on the first green day, when you see Ford is green, you're gonna wanna buy into the breakout. 
And you know, when we're buying on the first red day, best way to do it is to buy the dip. It's to wait for it to go back to the previous closing price. So say this gaps up tomorrow, the best thing you could do is buy the dip and you wait for the dip to go back to the previous closing price because there's going to be a gap to fill below there since the stock went up during extended hours trading, whether it's after hours or pre-market, right? It gapped up. So um, that's what you're going to want to do with Ford. Best price to buy is 1666. Um, pay attention to the breakout. Your make it or break it level is 1666 on Ford. I am very micro bullish. I think we're going to have a nice pump back into the 17s, right? In terms of the options that, so look for the breakout opportunity on that. If it breaks out, reacts to support, it's going to be a buy. If not, then it's not going to be a buy. Just wait for it to turn 1667 into support. Once you see it's breaking out, turn into support, that's when you buy it. If it's at the key level and it doesn't react the way we want it to, then we sit on the sidelines and we wait until it reacts the way we want it to. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan on that. And then write it back up towards $16.90, $17 for a nice scalp. EIGR, I got I to gotta consider pulling the trigger on this one. We're looking very, very bearish. I think within, I think um, by May 20th, we can fill this gap at 560s. I'm very bearish on EIGR. I'm going to really start considering some May 20th puts at a 7.5 strike. I think these can print. Going to size in lightly though, because it's not that liquid. It's not that volatile, but overall this looks very bearish. It's forming lower highs. It's starting to turn um, previous support right here into resistance. It can't even go back forming new lower highs. Bearish candlesticks looks very, very bearish. If you study the overall chart direction, this just looks overall bearish. So that can be a nice passive income play where you just buy the puts, write it out. And remember with the options, I'm always doing like add the money. I'm not really going out of the money. I do like add the money and I'll typically do, um, the quickest expiration, it kind of relies on perfect timing in a sense where I get in, I get out for a nice quick scalp within like 30 minutes typically. Um, this is a little different. This is a passive income play. And you know, since the only strike is going to be out of the money that's closest right here with a thin spread, it's going to have to be this one. Um, I don't like the 10 strike. So it would be the 7.5 strike. I think by May 20, if those can become deeper in the money. So um, DraftKings, for DraftKings, we now have two gaps to fill below. We can see how it reacts in 1905, but your overall best support level to be dip buying for a quick scalp on DraftKings is 1865. Um, CLVS, this is looking interesting. Overall, I'm turning bearish. 2.5 is your make it or break it level. If that cracks, it's going to be a hard sell off to two. So I'm going to keep an eye on some, you know, 2.5 put options that expire on April 8th, or maybe even the ones that expire on um, April 14th. You could see the volume is loading up on these. I'm very short biased on this stock. I think it can print. I think we're heading back to 250. There's a gap to about 250. If it cracks that, it's going to take a massive hit to two. Keeping a close eye on CLVS for a nice scalp on the put options. Um, triple BY, you know, not the most bullish candlestick on the daily, you could see it's kind of similar to um, this candle right here. At this point, anything could happen. The volume's dry. So I'm going to remove this one from my watch list. I think there's going to be better opportunities that I mentioned in the watch list to buy. Um, and if I would have went with the spy, I would have made a lot more money as well. But still, you know, 5% return, it's better than being red. And if I would have held, it would have been like almost a 30% return. I'm going to scratch this one off the watch list. I'm no longer interested in that one. But the swing trading strategy did work on triple BY. Just needs to be a little bit more patient. I didn't like the way how Spy was looking for the micro at the time at open as well. Um, AMD. AMD has flip-flopped. We are finally seeing signs of a gap close reversal. I am a very bullish overall on AMD now that it's flip-flopped and we got this bullish candlestick coming on the daily. We have two days of where it's been trying to hold above and trying to close above and trying to turn this key gap fill support level at 109.33. So we're on track for a micro run and there is a gap to fill above right here at 119.22. So um, for AMD, the new level, we're going to call it like 109 and 110.50. Those are going to be your overall zones. If we could see support form within those zones, I'll be interested in buying some call options, riding this back up a little bit. Overall, I'm bullish. I think within time we can get a run to about you know $115, $114, right around that zone. Very bullish on AMD for this week. Um, AMC, it looks like we're due for a spike. It is going to try to spike. That's kind of a bullish candlestick. Plus the SPY is trying to pump overall. Like I said, for this one, I'm only interested in two key levels, $20 and 24 cents for some put options. 
And then um, for shorting the stock, not buying puts, I don't want to buy puts on AMC. I would just rather short the stock. Um, but on the call side, I would rather just buy the calls instead of the shares. So it's a little bit different. Um, $29.44, if we can form resistance, then I'm going to be interested in shorting shares with a tight stop towards 30s. But the best opportunity is to just wait for it to go to 20, 20, 40. There's a gap to fill. Once that gap fills, it's going to be a great gap close reversal opportunity. And um, our last stock is going to be Apple. So in terms of Apple, we're waiting for it. To, we're waiting to buy the dip. Once Apple goes back to fill this dip at 174.31, it's going to be a great micro dip buying opportunity. So remember, all of these key levels, all these prices that I gave you, these are going to be the the best micro opportunities to trade both ways. Micro means you're getting in, you're getting out. I'm trading the options. I'm staying at the money, and I'm typically making when I'm right a quick, you know. 20, 30, 40, 50% return on the contracts within like 30 minutes to an hour, getting in, getting out, locking in the gains, right? In terms of swing trading, you can swing trade at these levels, but you have to wait until the daily candlestick shapes itself. And that is not determined until um, you know, market close because nobody knows how these candlesticks are going to look when the market closes, right? So swing trades aren't determined until like the last like five minutes before the market closes. And if you see a bullish candlestick towards these uh, a trend reversal candlestick, a bullish candlestick towards these key levels I'm giving you, then it can be a swing trade. It's, it is more advanced than that, but that's one indicator that I do use and one confirmation that I do have to get to enter a swing trade. And then you can do the same thing for the bearish side. So that is going to be the overall thoughts. That is going to be the overall analysis. Um, I do want to give a big shout out to a student who's been absolutely, to a member who's been absolutely killing it within trader society. And he truly has been showing some, you know, amazing results these are like speechless results and he's been killing it every single day trading the spy and he trades um futures as well yes so um big shout out to him he ended up making 1.5 million on the day this is a live account you cannot fake this stuff it's green it's a live account this is all like verify this is think or swim like that's that's a live account that's not a paper account if you have a paper account think or swim you would know the differences um plus you don't get charged seven hundred thousand in commissions you know on a paper account. So it's 100% real. Big shout out to him. He's been absolutely crushing it. Um, you know, he's learned some things from me and he loves the strategies. And then he also has his own strategies and his own things that he's picked up as well. So it's truly incredible and it's truly phenomenal what he's able to do with the spy. He's definitely mastered it. So um, big shout out to him, guys, and big shout out to those of you within Trader Society who killed it today as well. So um, yeah, that's going to wrap up today's live trading session. I am currently in discussion with him. We are going to be talking about um, you know, setting up. I just want to make sure everything's set up right. Um, doing a 1K to 100K challenge where he mainly just trades the spies um, both ways, calls and put options for the micro. So um, yeah, looking forward to that as well. Going to be discussing that with him. That's coming soon as well, a challenge that he's going to be doing. And um, for those of you who are interested in joining Trader Society, it is going to be the first link down below within the description. When you do join, it's lifetime access and you get instant access. And um, you get access to live trading streams that we do every single day at Market Open. Those live trading streams you get access to every single day at Market Open. You can also go back and watch the recordings. Um, you can ask questions live on the spot. You get access to the video lesson library where you're going to learn the unique gap trading system. You're also going to learn um, you know, the gap trading system, the gap trading strategies, the price action analysis trading strategies that we're consistently using to make money within the stock market, the position sizing and risk management to trading, the psychology and mindset to trading. You'll learn that all within the video lesson library. You also get access to the chat room where you get to contact us directly one-on-one -on -one, um, message. You can add us as a friend on the Discord server and you get access to all the channels within the Discord, which also includes the real-time trade alerts, the stock analysis, um, the stock watch list that prepares you to trade the best setups at the best prices that gives you the real-time updates in the morning in the pre-market when those setups do occur. That keeps you up to date on a regular basis. Um, there's a lot more to it if you want to check it out. It's going to be that first link down below in the description. As soon as you sign up, you get lifetime access and it's a one-time fee. I'm looking forward to trading with you guys tomorrow. Very excited for this week. It looks like it's going to be an overall call option week to buy the dips at these key levels. And it should be a very profitable week. Um, we do have some put setups as well, like CLVS. That's going to be a put opportunity. And then if NVIDIA can hit that key resistance, Tesla's the key resistance and put opportunities. So there's going to be some great opportunities to trade both ways this week. And it should be a phenomenal green week. 
So um, yeah, let's let's finish strong. Let's kill it, guys. I will see you tomorrow in um, the live trading session. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to the end and investing your time into your education.